I actually just came up with this flow sheet out of my mind and based on my experience with hepatitis E, which we haven't gone up to now. In fact, we are almost losing that debt. Then I thought this is now the time not to repeat the mistakes of hepatitis E. We must strengthen our structures, um, our human resources, um, other resources, but most importantly, we must strengthen our communication and collaboration and coordination. Those are the three um, uh, messages. Communication, coordination, and collaboration. Uh, this is also what the African Union is suggesting, an African Center for Disease Control, as far as this outbreak is concerned. We must collaborate. Now, if you look on this flow sheet, there are about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight columns. These are clusters I created as strategic partners in, approach, in our approach and response to the outbreak. The first one is the lead ministry, which is the Ministry of Health and Social Services. So this is the ministry that needs to help us with health-related policies. Uh, it needs to help us with a national strategic plan on response, guidelines, standard operation procedure, and uh, confirmation and availability of health infrastructure and equipment plus human resources. And I put in red the communication because it's so key. Under that, we are led into the eight response pillars of the World Health Organization, which is the global response. Under those, you have what we call preparedness and response which is the most important one, because if we're not prepared, we can't respond most effectively. We will be wobbling and, 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 and drifting one from one corner to another, or the virus is not fine. So we also need what we call point of entry, and this is one of the cause of chaos. I've seen it yesterday, and it's also linked to poor communication 